Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa De Berlay, and I want to do a video today on how to delete a YouTube channel. I know when you're new, you're always experimenting. What well, should I have one YouTube channel? Uh, maybe I can create another one because it's different topics. And then you might think, well, you created one and decided you don't want to do it anymore. So I think the best thing to do is just delete it, get it off of there. Because I think it will mess with analytics and things like that, especially if it's kind of a dead channel. Um, I have one I actually started. I'm a teacher and I was very, very excited about doing one, um, reading children's stories. But once I dug into it, I found out that a lot of times there's copyright issues and it takes a lot of time to tape the book and and, and do all that. And I thought I, I it wasn't fun after I started. So I only did one book. It's gotten some views and I'm just going to niche that whole idea and stick with my other channel. Um, so I'm going to show you today how to delete it and get rid of it. And But I want to give you a piece of encouragement before I do that. If we had a really rough week last week, I actually did not um, produce a video last week because um, Saturday night, my husband was calling me to the bathroom and he was clutching his chest. Long story short, he ended up having a heart attack, 52 years old, never had any problems. And I have that posted on my Facebook personal page if you want to see the flight and all that. But He's home now and everything, you know, now we're just adjusting to the reality of, you know, you have to eat right. And these are things that can happen. Um, but my point for you is my first impulse, like after we got home was, oh my gosh, I don't have a video for this week. And I was starting to stress about it. And then I thought, you know what, what's, what is important in life? It's okay. A, if you miss a month, it's okay. I know you see all these videos. They say you have to be consistent. You have to make sure you get them out there. And what you have to do is take care of your family, take care of your life. That's where you need to be consistent. And then this will happen if it's meant to be, right? Um, and it's enjoyable and it's a good idea, of course, is always to get ahead, which I was. I lost that um, <laughs> leeway when we both got COVID four weeks ago. But that's my point is don't stress about doing this. Make sure it's fun and something you enjoy doing, just like your job. You, you don't want to have to dread going to work every morning or dread making a video. If you are, then you're doing the wrong thing. So that's my piece of advice before we jump in. Now, what I want you to do is um, go to your channel page. And right here, you can see I have the one here at the bottom. It says not a story time. <laughs> I had a puppet and everything. Great idea, but mm, not going to do it. So I'm going to go in to that. And then on the side, you want to go down to where it says settings. And then you're going to go into channel settings and advanced settings. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And this is going to delete the entire channel, all the content, everything. And right here, it says remove YouTube content. And this page here will pop up Google. You need to put your password in and then hit next. Of course, probably had to pause the video and then go find the password. All right. They want to make sure it's me. So I have to open up my YouTube app on my phone. Um, I will be right back. All right. So what was happening was it was trying to tell me to verify my account through the YouTube app and the YouTube app wasn't downloading and I just went to Gmail and it popped up. That's usually how I verify. So my Gmail account did it and I apologize for that. But um try that. If you're um if you're unable to pull up the YouTube app, go to your Gmail account. It's all connected. So this is what came up after I verified that it was me. Okay. Here it says I want to hide content or I want to permanently delete. Now if you're not sure if you want to delete your account, then just hide it. You put a lot of work into it. Maybe you feel like, you know, I don't want to just delete it. So hide it. And then that way nobody can see it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and permanently delete mine. So I'm going to cho choose the bottom here and it says, choose what your uh, video playlist, um, everything. Okay. Any paid subscriptions. I don't have any of that on this account and delete my content and just keep following along. And then it says um, confirm by typing your channel name. So you wanna type it exactly here and then delete your content. And I'll type it in, delete my content. Now, if you have a large channel that you're deleting, it may take you two or three days to get everything off. I just started this, so <laughs> there wasn't a lot there. Actually, there was one video. Like I said, just took too much time. 
was not enjoyable. So I decided I'm not doing it. it. It sounded like fun, but it wasn't. Better just to sit down and read a good book, right? All right. So there you go. That's how you will delete your channel. Now I'm going to go back here because I know mine's probably already deleted. This here says um, one video. I'm going to go ahead and delete that service. What I'd like to do now is go back and make sure the account has been deleted. So I'm going to go back over here. You can see the little icon of the puppet in the corner. And I'm going to say, let's switch account. That should not come up. Switch account. Let's see if it's listed. And it was right down here and it's gone. So everything's been deleted. Like I said, if you have more than one video, obviously, if you have, you know, a lot of them, it's going to take more time for the system to delete it. But remember, you can hide the account or you can delete the account. So if you're not sure, just hide it. I was sure I'm not doing that. So I went ahead and did that. All right. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or if you liked what you saw, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.